All right, so this is Robo91 and Z Magic 97. Z -97. And I'm good. Today I'm going to ride Z Magic 97's motorcycle. And uh, to be honest, I did two takes of this S. Two takes. And the first time the audio didn't go through. The second time the video didn't go through. <sighs> so this time it'll happen. It'll work. This is the plan. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be riding uh, Z Magic 97's motorcycle on the back. And I'm going to. Paris Hilton. <laughs> and I'm going to <clears throat> teach you how to be a passenger and how to get on a motorcycle and how to get off a motorcycle. We're, we're here at Ride Now Power Sports. Yeah. Some Ride Now dealership, whatever. And we're going to go to the GC, which is the Golden Corral. And I like vlogging when I'm looking at you because it, it seems like I'm talking to you. When I'm really talking to someone else. <laughs> or talking to myself, I guess. Okay, so to be a passenger, first you need to identify the... Well... First, you need to identify the rider is capable of riding <laughs> and not intoxicated. Anyways, you're going to identify a few parts here. You're going to identify the left, the left <clears throat> foot peg, left passenger foot peg. I didn't know what that was. Yeah. Left passenger foot peg. You're going to identify the seat where the seat where your ass is going to be placed. Your bum. Your bum. I'm sorry. Your bum. Trying to be like rated G here. Rated G. Gotcha. Sorry. Our language is switched. That was the guy yelling in strawberry. I know. Saying cursing out right and left. All right, so we're going to identify the right passenger foot peg, which is uh, located around here in this area. And uh, to get on the motorcycle, first you're going to, when, whenever you get on and whenever you get off the motorcycle, you're going to ask the rider, that, you know, tell the rider you're going to so he could brace for impact, brace for the weight and everything like that. So z 97 can I get on your motorcycle? Yeah. Okay, so he says yes. If he says no, there's going to be a little issue there. And uh, he might, like, he might do a wheelie and pop you off, you know. Anyway, so what you're, to get on a motorcycle, you're going to put your left foot on the left foot peg and your left hand on his left shoulder so that you could put all your weight on his left shoulder. No, I'm just kidding. All your weight on the left foot peg so that you could, and, then, and then you're going to like stand up on the left foot peg, basically, and you're going to swing your right foot onto the right passenger foot peg. That sounded really confusing, but let's do it. So can I, I'm going to get on. Is it cool? Good. All right, so I'm going to put, I'm going to get on, put all your weight on your left foot. Oh, sorry. Good. And, uh... Put, a, put your right foot on the right passenger peg, and then you can let the rider know you're fine and whatnot. So, z -Mac I'm good. We're good. I didn't fall off yet. And you go ahead and go if you want. All right, so uh, when you're on the motorcycle, you're going to preferably sit on the seats. Preferably sit on the seats and uh, hold on and identify the grab rails. Uh, any grab rails, any grab straps. If, there's any, if there isn't any grab rail or grab strap, you're going to hold on to the rider's waist and lower waist area. And when, he, when oh, this is a good, uh, whoops, this is a good, uh, a good experience here. When you're quartering with the passenger, as a passenger, you're going to look over the shoulder in the direction of the turn, so over the shoulder, into the turn, keeping your weight, you know, balancing your weight so that you can operate the, the corner. And I'm kind of scared. Because <laughs> Z Magic. Basically, the rider in front of you, your life is in his hands. Oh my god, it's insane. <clears throat> the braking and acceleration on the 600 is intense. It's intense and crazy. When accelerating, you want to either brace on the uh, strap or the handrail that you have. Or brace and hold on to the rider in front of you. Preferably do not hold on to the rider on his upper body, like his shoulders and neck, because that may interfere with... Oh, we're doing a stoppy. <laughs> that may interfere with uh, controls and uh, his controlling ability of the motorcycle. And different... And uh, redlining all the time. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my lord, it scared the shit out of me. That was the same. As a passenger, you don't know when the rider is gonna swiftly accelerate, so that uh, you gotta you gotta make sure you're not gonna fall off when accelerating really hard. Um, let's see what else. When okay, when you're braking, when the rider is braking and you're you guys are decelerating on the motorcycle, it's good to press your knees into his hips to brace yourself from the, basically the purpose is not when, when under braking on a motorcycle you do not want to slide into the rider in front of you because they may, that may cause extreme discomfort especially if there's two guys on a, on the back of, on a motorcycle 
two dudes on a motorcycle. Uh, check out that video if you haven't checked it out. It's a really awesome video. Oh, we're going this way. Oh, that's crazy. Anyway, so when brake, when decelerating, you're going. In my uh, instance, I'm holding onto the grab rail and, and pulling on the grab rail so that uh, I don't, you know, slide into the the back side of the rider. And that was pretty good. Now we're at the GC. I'm gonna get off the motorcycle. Is that fine? You're good. Okay. So when you get off a motorcycle, preferably you want to do it in style because you're with another rider. <laughs> so how do you how do you get off a motorcycle? How do you get off a motorcycle, Z Magic? The best way. The best way to get off a passenger as a passenger, get off the motorcycle. Oh, um, I would say you know set the reverse of what you do to get on. Um, that's that's good. You'll put most of your weight. You know, you'll tell the rider or the you know, I guess driver. I guess yeah. How you're gonna get off? Uh, they'll you know usually um, tighten up their arms on the bars. Right. Put their feet straight down. And then what you'll do is you'll grab onto the left shoulder. Uh, depending how you get off, most people get off traditionally in the left. And you'll grab on, and you'll swing your arm over and kind of pivot your foot on the peg, or just leave it. Oh, that makes sense. Off, you'll go like this, and then step away. That's right. That's right. So you shouldn't backflip off the of back of a motorcycle. Uh, unless you're really great, then uh, you, know, you, can, you can totally do that. No objections. <laughs> okay. Yeah, backflipping is uh, fun. not recommended. F fun, I guess. Not recommended. All right, so that's it. That was fun, though. Very exciting. The front tire came off. What? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? You know when I did that little turn and you jerked? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, the front tire came off. Oh. Oh, great news. I broke the rule on wheelies. I didn't do the stopping. <laughs> Good. We almost did. <laughs> it felt like we almost did. No, no, no. Trust me. Going about 15, I just would have hit you. Please never do that. That would be horrible. That would be horrible. Anyways. It's a little dusty. Why? Well, yeah. Your bike? Yeah. Oh. Uh, Minus two. There you go. ZM Nen 7. Can I write mine? No, I don't. I'm good. I'm going to put E Rice, though. Can I write E Rice? Sweet! Alright. It's going to be on camera, too, probably. Yeah! Eat. Rice? The funny thing is, someone's going to misinterpret that because it's an import bike. That is, that is, pro yeah, that's true. <laughs> good call.